How's it going, guys? Neo Gino here, and then it's been a long time since I've done a video. I've had a lot of things going on. I had uh, personal things with myself. I had some family things going on. Uh, I'm back. I'm all better now. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you what I've been picking up lately. Uh, I just recently got done at a convention. I actually went to two of them so far this year. So this is going to be a short video about what I picked up at the one convention. And I'm going to throw a couple more things at the end of it. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Now, like I was saying, I just got done at a convention. I went to the Albany. I was up in Albany for uh, Empire Game Expo. And uh, that was really good. It was a one-day con. It was their first year. That was held in the Red Lion Hotel, I believe it was. The hotel was awesome. I hope they're back there again next year. And uh, this is what I brought back. I did a trade with my one buddy, uh, Nick. We uh, did a trade. I had a Saturn game he wanted. And uh, he traded me Spot for Sega Saturn. Uh, also, a couple other games, which I had, they were just doubles. But these are the ones I needed. Saga Frontier. Uh, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero for PlayStation. And Clock Tower 2 for PlayStation. Uh, definitely going to check this one out. Uh, I heard it's good. I haven't put, I have the first one. I haven't played that one yet, but we're going to play them in order. I also picked up off a vendor there, the Horde. Um, I actually traded him a Super Mario Brothers for this. Uh, off another vendor, I picked up Panzer Dragoon Orda. A very, very... Supposed to be a very good uh, game. Uh, I got it for next to nothing almost. Off another vendor, I got some uh, Japanese um, Neo Geo CD games. I got King of Fighters 94. Uh, Savage Rain. And I believe this is Fatal Fury 3. I don't read Japanese, but that's what I believe it is. Off another vendor there, I got two very good Saturn games that I've been looking for. Um, both pretty much exclusive to Sat the Saturn. Uh, I got Die Hard Arcade. To me, this is a holiday movie, Christmas movie, unlike most people think. Definitely interested in checking this out. Glad I finally have it. And I got uh, a shooter uh, for the Saturn. Um, this is probably the best one in the series, in my opinion. I haven't played them all, but I played most of them. And that's Darius Gaiden. Love this game. Definitely worth the money. Really good, really good. Off another vendor that was there, he was actually right next to me, and I was waiting for the end of the con to get this off him. Hopefully he still had it, because I wanted to talk him down on price for it, because it was missing the manual. And uh, he still had it at the end of the con, and we were able to make a deal. And I got a box version of Pocky and Rocky. The box is pretty good shape. The cart's mint. And I said it was missing the manual. I have this at a great deal. So if anyone has a manual, I'm interested. Next, I did a trade with uh, Frank and Forgotten Freshness. And I had two, uh, either two or three Japanese Saturn games that he was interested in that he didn't have for his collection. And he made a trade with a kid for this game and I added it to my collection. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but this is how I feel. Uh, I do not like this game. It's not my kind of game. I know a lot of people love it. It's sought after. Uh, I tried playing it twice already. I can't get into it. Maybe later on down the road I'll try it again. You know, sometimes things change. but uh, And that is a complete snatcher for Sega CD. One of the hardest to find games on the system. This is super mint copy. Very, very good. Uh, he was actually going to put it in his personal collection to upgrade his, but I got it off of him before he could do that. And uh, I also got a Dr. Mario off of him to replace the one that I had to put in a box for a box that I had just laying around for a while. So now I have that to put back in my box and be back complete again. Uh, the next thing I got there was um, a little too big for me to show you in this room, but I'm going to show you a picture of it right now. I got off my buddy Ken. Uh, we did a good deal for it. Uh, I'm happy to have it. Um, and here it is. Uh, I'm glad that I actually got to get this. I, I love the old school kiosk machines. I look for them all the time. Uh, like I said, we did a great deal on it. And it'll never probably leave my collection now. 
Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got. Um, because I've been collecting, I never stopped collecting, uh, even though I haven't done videos in a while. So I'm going to throw a couple things on every video. If not, I will do a couple of videos just on that. But, uh, picked up this bloodstained. The, this is a ritual of the night. I also have curse of the moon. Curse of the moon is like, uh, Castlevania three. This one's like sympathy of the night. Awesome games. Really good. Really good. This one's really hard though. I will tell you that. Take some grinding for it. I got a Dreamcast game, Midway's Greatest Hits Volume 1. This is pretty good. I mean, it has all the old school, like Atari, Sinister Defender, really good compilation. Um, I collect these games. The Oliver Twins, they did uh, the Cam America stuff, and they did Dizzy and all that stuff. They have been releasing games every year for the last three years now. I picked up every release that they did. There are games that were not released that they actually had done, and they are canceled because the NES said they weren't making games anymore. And I just got the Panic Dizzy. Um, Dizzy's aren't my, you know, they're not great games in my opinion. But it's cool because these are games that should have came out that just never got done. Well, never got released. They were done. It just, the life cycle ended. Next I picked up a Sega CD game to finish a set for Sega CD. Uh, and that was Eternal Blue Lunar. Um, so now I have both, uh, really not into RPGs, I'll probably never play them, but I still collect them. I got a great deal on, uh, Eternal Blue, I couldn't pass it down, so now I have both to complete that series for Sega CD at least. Um, this next game I got off a buddy of mine, he, uh, had it priced for the, basically the cart only, and it's a box and a cart that came with it. The cart looked like it got just like stepped on, destroyed. The label had four labels on top of it. It was a mess. I actually got to clean it up. Well, I did clean it up, hopefully. And uh, I did trade it off at one con. But I got a box now. It's a Sky Blazer. This game's really good. I have a, I'm only missing the manual now. Like I said, the box isn't mint. But he was only charging me basically for the cart. And the cart I offed already. And, uh. Maybe one day I can get an even better copy box than this, but this is good enough for right now. And I'm looking for a manual if anyone has one. And next are two games that I got a while back. Um, both NES games that I needed. Uh, I got Castle of Deceit. Very hard game to find by Color Dreams. Um, not that good of a game, but definitely sought after. If you're going for a full set, you need that. And I got Kid Clown. Very hard game to find. The price goes all over on this cart. Uh, definitely not common by any means. Um, I have it technically complete. The box is like a two though. I'm definitely looking for an upgrade. So if anyone has a box you're looking to get rid of, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, right now I technically am uh, only three games away from a full NES set. Um, I did pick up two more games, but I'll show you them in a later video that I did need back then. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got back. And, uh, this, keep stay tuned and I'll keep uh, putting more videos now. Cause like I said, I'm back. Uh, I'm doing well. I, I actually had, uh, too many games I was supposed to go to and my appendix decided to rupture. So that's what happened. And now I'm recovering from that. So. This is Neo Geno saying I'll see you soon and keep smashing them buttons.